Do you know the worst thing that can happen to any content creator? Losing your footage. Not just a single clip, I'm talking about hours of work. A full day of filming, gone. And that's exactly what happened to me. I just wrapped up a full on content shoot in the Philippines. Interviews, drone footage, B-roll, the kind of stuff that takes planning, time and energy just to get right. I got home, plugged in my portable SD, and while clearing space, I accidentally deleted the wrong folder. The entire project, just gone. Don't, I don't know if it happened to you guys, but at first I froze. Then that horrible wave of panic set in. You start checking the trash. You search everywhere. You try random recovery tools from the internet that either look sketchy or don't work. And you pray. My God, do you pray. Luckily, I remembered something. I'd previously tested and reviewed a tool called Wondershare Recovery, and it had impressed me. So I gave another shot, and let me tell you, it saved me. Thank goodness. This video is part one of a special three-part series where I share how Recovery version 13.5 helped me recover footage from deleted files, corrupted SD cards, and even an old internal hard drive that I thought was completely dead. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I recovered my deleted project step by step using Recovery, and why this software is now permanently part of my creator tool toolkit. Let's dive in. And guys, remember, if you love our channel, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and also if you love Recovery, check the description for links to sign up. And also check out our previous video we did as well. First, let's talk about how hard data recovery usually is. If you've ever lost a file, you've probably Googled for a solution. There are dozens of options, but most are either outdated, confusing, or just don't work. Many of them throw out terms like deep scan and partition repair. They're explaining what that even means. Worse, guys, they're often not secure. Some ask you to upload your files or give full access to your drive. Guys, that's a huge no for me. As someone who manages over 10 terabytes of content across multiple YouTube channels, privacy and security are essential. If I lose my data, I lose my business. It's that critical. And all my videos are stored there. That's why Recover It stood out. It's completely local software, no cloud syncing, no uploads, no hidden steps. Everything runs directly from your Mac or PC, which gave me peace of mind when I'm working on unreleased projects. And setup, guys, it's so easy. So I went to the website, as you can see here, downloaded, downloaded the software, of course it's free to try, and installed it in under a minute. No registration hoops, no annoying ads, just a clean, professional interface, ready to go to work. I then launched Recover It, and immediately selected the drive where my project had been stored. This is where version 13.5 really shines. The new update includes a 30% speed boost in scan times. Now guys, when you're handling a lot of drives like I do, that's a big difference. And also uses 12% less memory usage. And an updated interface that includes dark mode for Mac. Which guys, if you're like me and edit at night, is actually a game changer. More importantly, Recover It now supports over 2,000 storage devices and more than 1,000 file types, including full compatibility with CF cards, external SSDs, USBs, NAS systems, and of course, traditional hard drives. It's also got a 99.5% recovery success rate, which isn't just a selling point, I watched it in action. Now guys, as you can see, once the scan started, it didn't take too long. Within minutes, Recover was already displaying previews of my deleted video files, even the large 4K ones. That's something a lot of recovery tools fail at. They either show corrupted file names or dump files into a giant list with no way to preview or identify them. With me, I work with hundreds, well, actually thousands of files. I can't use it that way, can I? With Recover It, I could see the clips before I recovered them. I selected the ones I needed, and in just a few clicks, they were recovered and saved into a new folder on my Mac. No tech headaches, no complicated settings, just results. And that's the biggest thing I've learned from this experience. If you're a content creator, a student, a photographer, well guys, even just someone who values memories on your drives, and who of us doesn't take lots of photos and videos, you need to have a recovery tool you can trust. Because when disaster strikes, like it has with me again and again, and it will at some point for you guys too, there's no time to waste trying random fixes that might make things worse. And that's where Recover it comes in. And Recover it's also a pair, part of Wondershare as well, and it's a great company to be partners with. So if you saw my previous video on Recover it, you remember I was impressed back then. But this version, with all the upgrades, version 13.5, takes it to another level. So guys, here's a quick recap of the key features that helped me, and hopefully it can help you as well. 
So firstly, enhanced recovery for external drives. So when we say external drives, this includes SSD cards, USBs, SSDs, and even corrupted portable hard drives. The scan speed is faster, and the new engine just digs deeper while keeping your system running smoothly. Second, improved preview module. This update has over 50% faster preview speed. So you're not sitting there waiting for ages to verify your files. I could scrub through my 4K footage in seconds. And guys, these days, 4K footage is becoming more and more important. Third, support for continuous scanning. That means recovery keeps finding files even while it's scanning. Something that no other recovery tool I've used can do. And finally, guys, and this is one of the most important things, security and privacy. Everything I did was done locally. I didn't have to upload my files to cloud where people could access them. I didn't have to share my account or give remote access to people. All it was done, is, as you can see, was just here on my machine. And that's a great thing about it. So I genuinely believe every creator should have recovery installed. Not because it's a sponsor, but because I've lived a nightmare of losing everything, and now I've seen how easily it can be fixed. Now, Recover It is free to download, and you can scan your device before deciding to upgrade to the full version. Literally, guys, there's nothing to lose and everything to recover. If you wish to download it, I'll put a link down below so you guys can start using it straight away. And if you have lost files yourself, I'd love to hear about it. Drop a comment with your own data loss story, and I might feature some of your experiences in an upcoming video. And remember, this is just part one. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how Recovery helped a friend of mine recover files from a corrupted SD card that we thought was completely wiped. And in part three, we'll dive deep into internal hard drive recovery with a real story of how I rescued forgotten footage from an old machine I hadn't turned on in years. You can imagine getting this footage back. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, if you purchase you want to share, recover it. Again, there's links in the description. Remember, you can always sign up for free and make sure you like the video, click the notification button, and subscribe to get new notifications of videos. Guys, and be ready, because data loss happens when you least expect it. And when it does, recover it is there for you. Thanks for watching here. Andy at Mr. Yoohoo.